Today I'm going to show you how to separate the turn signal and the brake light from those taillights that have the same brake light and turn signal bulb. If you mod enough lights, you're going to come across this issue. The issue of having the brake light and the turn signal being from the exact same bulb. Then you're going to dig into the wiring a little bit and realize that the turn signal and brake light wiring is the exact same wire. It's going to have three wires going to that bulb, which is ground, park, brake slash turn, and that's the problem. Since we're trying to spice up these taillights, we wanna put a Blue Ghost or some sort of show mode module on there that controls everything as well, but we can't do that because we need these signals to be completely separated. What happens whenever you put the brake slash turn into the Blue Ghost module is that it kind of gets all freaked out. You hit the brake lights, so the turn signals are going off or vice versa. And one day I talked about this on TikTok of all places and it was actually helpful, which is kind of a surprise. People were recommending to grab one of these trailer wire harness converters. And when you read the inputs versus outputs, it's gonna tell you everything we need to know. So we got right, stop and turn, and then just right turn, stop and left turn. So as you can see, it's really designed for trailers, but it's gonna work for us in this case as well because it's doing exactly what we need to separate the turn signal and the brake lights. Before I actually build it out into a custom harness for a customer, I wanted to test it out on my own vehicle here. On this side, you can see that we have the harness completely sprawled apart and testing everything to make sure that it's actually gonna work as it says it is, and to make sure that this is actually gonna work for a customer's vehicle. The good news is, is that it is gonna work. Now you might be thinking that I chopped open my truck's wire harness in order for this test, but I didn't have to. We have these little adapters that plug into the actual bulb socket. All I had to do was plug this in and this is how I'm doing all of my testing. Back to the converter. So whenever I purchased this, I assumed that I could have one on either side. That way I could just integrate it into the harness for the customer and make it extra simple for them. Unfortunately, it might be a little bit more difficult than that, but that's still no worries. We're gonna be able, I'm gonna be able to figure out how to make this wiring as simple as possible for the customer. But let's go ahead and wire this onto the truck and then I'm gonna show you how it works. Okay, we're gonna start with the left side. So this is the left side of the truck. And for our test here, I'm not actually going to solder anything or crimp anything in just because I don't want this to be that permanent. Twist on the left stop and turn wire on the input side directly to the left brake light slash turn signal. Now for the ground, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it on this side since we're already working over here. Ground is the white wire. Go to ground on the bulb socket. To me, the mats made it look prettier. Okay, so we have the inputs completely wired in. On the left side here, we've got our ground wire wired up. We've got our brake slash turn signal wired up. And same with over here, we have our brake slash turn signal wired up. The parking light and the ground we're leaving alone. We're not touching those right now because all we're worried about is separating the brake and the turn signal. To really show the difference in the brake and the turn, I'm gonna use some red LEDs and then some yellow LEDs. Same deal with this. I'm not actually soldering them in. I'm not crimping them in. I normally would, but since this is just an example to kind of show you how this is gonna work for whenever we actually do the install, it's gonna be temporary. I'm just gonna do a little twist. Alrighty, now the outputs are completely wired up. So it does kind of look like chaos, but let's break this down real quick. We got our left turn signal going into left LEDs. Got our stop right down the middle, red LEDs, and a right turn signal, right LEDs. All of the powers are running to the powers of each of the strips. And then we have the grounds running down here. Again, just temporary. All of these LEDs are gonna be used for completely different projects. And I have the ground just tapped in here. All that it needs to do is get its way back to ground. Now I'm going to go operate the truck like I would normally so I can show you how it's all working. Of course, we're gonna start with brake. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the left turn signal. It is gonna hyper flash because these are LEDs and the truck did not come with LEDs before. The signal over here is completely separated. Now we need to do the signal on the right side. There we go. Now we've got the signal on the right side as well. Everything is working as it should. When I first purchased these, 
I thought that I was gonna be able to do two of them and just wire them inside of the taillights, kind of like I try to do with a lot of modules. That just cleans everything up for the customer on their end. They don't have to do anything additional and they don't have all this extra harness. But then I learned how this thing actually works and how it's actually able to separate the turn signal out. All that it's looking for is the signal from both sides to go into the module to tell it that that is the stoplight. I wanted to wire this up so that this box was inside one taillight and we would have another one in the other taillight. To do that, we would obviously not use both of the inputs. It would be wired up just like this, which turns on the other light because it's only seeing the signal from this side. And I was so confused. So with just one side wired up, all that it's gonna do is the turn signal itself. It's not gonna do the brake light. Even though the brake lights are still on, it's still just going to turn this on as the brake light. So my original idea is just not gonna work, which is all right, that just means we have to pivot a little bit. Instead of having two of these, one in each light, we are just going to have one and I'm going to wire it right next to the Blue Ghost module. Brake, turn one, turn two. And this is about how I plan on wiring up the Blue Ghost module. Now, personally, I don't wire them up. I don't wire up the Blue Ghost module using the screw terminals. I always just solder them directly to the pads. So that's gonna be slightly different, but the wiring itself, the placement of them, that is exactly how I'm gonna do it. And we're gonna get this all loomed and cleaned up, making it look as OEM as possible. And then we'll have these separated out along with our RGB wires that are going out of the Blue Ghost module. So we're just gonna have each module pretty much stacked on top of each other so that we can get the inputs into the Blue Ghost and then have everything operate as it should, which definitely makes a much better experience for the customer because before now I've just had to tell the customer to find their turn signal wire and to tap it in to this really long extension that I had on the Blue Rust module, which is just, that's just ugly, that's not fun. And we're actually going to wire all of this in on a set of Camaro taillights. Now that's coming down the pipeline. It's not quite here yet, but you'll see that video in the next couple of months. Specifically talking about a two-piece setup just like this. But it's not just for our Camaros. It's gonna be a lot of trucks that have this. Mustangs have this. Several sets of lights have this setup. So knowing something like this and being able to use a product that's already on the market is gonna be huge. I do wonder if in the future, a version of the Blue Ghost module would be able to handle something like this because it already has all the inputs that this has. Hmm, something I'll have to message the Blue Ghost guys about. 